you say anything to Please me. let Don't me... Don't you dare talk back to me. It's bad enough that you've wasted your time with this, this absurd acting business. But you deliberately deceived me. How, how, how did you expect to get away with this? Answer me. Who put you up to it? Was it this new man, this, uh, Mr. Keating? No. Nobody. I thought I'd surprise you. I've gotten all A's in every class. Sorry, you're working to find out. Oh, my niece is in a play with your son, says Mrs. Marks. No, 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 I say, you must be mistaken. My son's not in a play. You made a liar out of me, Neil. Now, tomorrow, you go to them and you tell them that you're quitting. No, I can't. I have the main part. The performance is tomorrow night. I don't care if the world comes to an end tomorrow night. You are through with that play. Is that clear? Is that clear? Everybody likes a film to touch them. And, uh, and this has touched some of them. And reminded them, this phrase, it reminds me of why I got into the business. That's one of the most wonderful things. Another film person, you know, whatever their job, you know, can say to you. I think it because I like it when it happens to me. You go and see a film, you say, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, what I, that's why I wanted to make movies. At some stages there, I had a, a gaffer who was a seasoned Los Angeles gaffer, 25 years in the business. And I looked around at, at him at one stage to sort of make a comment on the lighting, and there he was in tears. And I said, you're not allowed to cry, no. You're a 25-year-old seasoned Los Angeles gaffer and you're not allowed to cry. And he said, I can't help it. <laughs> and that's when I knew that the film was really going to get to everybody. It's very rare to find a very good story, firstly. I think uh, you'll find, you know, directors that I admire, like Kubrick, talking about that. The story is everything. Uh, and this was, having finished that screenplay, I was surprised that, that the, no the, the screenplay writer hadn't written a novel. It was dense enough to have been a very good novel. He had enough characters, enough situations, and so on to make a fine book. And I asked him about it later. I said, what a dangerous thing to float all of those ideas out onto the Hollywood market. I mean, it might have fallen into the wrong hands. He said, and he told me some horror stories where, you know, actors were going to play it with a beer can in front of the class and whatever. Um, so number one, it was the story values that, that appealed to me. And as far as I'm concerned, that's all I, I look for. A good tale.